Hi guys! So today I'm doing my favorites. I know it's a little late, but I finally have some great lighting in the time, so I thought it would be good. Before you ask, I did tape a tutorial for this look. It is a Get Ready With Me video, and it will be up in the next two days or so, so stay tuned for that. If you follow me on Instagram, you get to see sneak peeks of my life and also um, looks that I do. So, like, I posted this look, um, you know, before I put the video up so you can see what to look forward to. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the favorites. I'm going to start off with some hair products. Um, I am on the mission to grow back my natural hair color. I am naturally dirty blonde and I want to grow it out and, you know, play around with my color in other ways um, because the really light platinum blonde, it's hard to change. So I'm just going to grow it out and, uh, see how far I get. But I need to take really good care of it, so I've been using this mask by Biolage. It's the Conditioning Balm Mask. It looks like that. It's a really big container. This one, they have two. They have one in a tube and this one. This one's just more bang for your buck. It's 16.9 ounces, and I've used a good chunk of that container. I love the smell of Biolage products, and this is a really nice mask. I use this balm, this deep conditioner, once a week on my hair when I wash it, and I leave it on for about five to seven minutes. It's really, really nice. I have been loving this shampoo. Now, I usually use the ones by Live Clean, but they were out of mine, so I tried this one, and it has replaced it as my new favorite. The smell alone is amazing. If you get a chance just to go and smell this at the drugstore or Walmart or wherever you can get it, um, definitely take a second and smell it because, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, it's the Organic Slime and is the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen. So it's the volumizing one. I told Chris to smell it and he says that it smells like a nightclub. Like it smells really perfumey. So if you like really perfumey feminine scents and You'll love this. It's so thick. It makes my hair like really voluminous and it makes my hair really thick. So I I do really like that shampoo. Uh, the next is a dry shampoo. This one is one that Beauty Zine turned me on to. It is the Batiste Big and Bouncy Double XL Volume. Now, the first time I used this, I used it wrong and it swelled all my hair up. I could not get my fingers through it. It was just this big pageant girl ridiculous hair and it was insane so now I'm really careful like to section where I need it spray it just on my root and rub it with my fingers and it makes my hair so voluminous it looks like I just washed it Batiste um, I've heard great things about and I can definitely say this is the best dry shampoo that I've used by them uh, and the packaging is adorable so yeah that's the triple XL volume and um, I would definitely suggest getting your hands on this and trying it out. Okay, the next are some makeup products. I haven't been really changing up. The last tutorial that I did, the soft and summery one that I put up, that's basically the eye look that I've been wearing all through July as well. It's really nice and I've recently changed up and I've been wearing this one for the last week or so, but that'll probably be mentioned in my August favorites. And anyways, I don't have any eye products to show you, but I do have a foundation. It's by Benefit, and it is the Hello Flawless Oil-Free SPF 25 Oxygen Wow. I've been using this because of the SPF in it, so definitely don't use this if you're into flash photography. Obviously, it's got a really high SPF, but it's really nice for protecting your skin. I haven't been using a setting powder with it, and this one is in ivory. Now, I've recently gotten darker uh, because of the summer, so I was using the champagne one. I have a little one from one of their kits. Um, it's darker, and this stuff just looks like you're not wearing any makeup. It completely looks fantastic on the skin, and doesn't make your pores stand out. It lasts all day, and uh, it's just a really nice foundation, light. Uh, definitely a light foundation, so um, I'd say it's got medium to buildable coverage, so definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like there. And then the next are just lip products. Um, oh, actually, I meant to mention this too. Because I haven't been using a setting powder, um, I've been getting, you know, slightly 
oily in my T-zone area, which only happens to me in the summertime. So I've been using the Benefit Dr. Feel Good Mattifying Balm. And it's really neat. It's like a really silky balm. Uh, it has a sponge. And you just take the balm and you rub it onto like your forehead and your nose. Um, I definitely wouldn't use this if you powder your face. Definitely only use it if you don't use a face powder because it is a balm. You don't want there to be any, um, like you don't want it to dissolve your and cake up your powder. But it definitely does an amazing job of mattifying the skin. Especially if you're somebody that doesn't even like to use foundation, like you don't like anything on your face, but you have trouble with oil. Get this because it doesn't have any color to it and it just, you know, mattifies. So I really like that. And then, yeah, the next are just lip products. I've been into summery light pink lips or nude lips like I'm wearing now. And it's definitely with wearing colors like that, you have to make sure that you exfoliate a lot so it doesn't show your dry, any dry skin. So, the, and I've been using this really nice lip balm by Marcel. It's the Neutralux Supreme Repair Lip Balm. Looks like this. I have been putting this on at night time and it's got a really nice applicator, just simple. And I've just been wearing this at night before I go to bed and then the morning um, after I shower. And uh, I really, really like this lip balm. Um, and then these lip products. So the first one is my nude. It is the L'Oreal Color Riche in 800 Fairest Nude. Looks like this. It's the one I'm wearing right now and it just looks like this. It's really, it's really similar to Blankety by MAC. like that. I like it because it's re it's really glossy so and it lasts a really long time which I like and I love the smell of these lipsticks. And then the next two are pink ones. This one is one of the NYX round lipsticks and this is one's called Narcissus. It's a really bright pink lipstick like a Pepto Bismo pink, really bright. And this one is by Quo. This is one of their new lipsticks um, that you press. This is number two. And it's just a really nice bubblegum pink. A little softer than, what's that right there, than this one. And then the last one I have is my Maybelline Color Whisper in 060 O Lilac. Ola Lilac. And I love the packaging of these. And I've used a ton of this one, as you can see. I really like this one. And it's just a pinky lilac color. So, yeah, I've definitely been enjoying the brighter pink and um, violet lips this past month. And the next thing I'm going to mention is actually my hair extensions that I'm wearing. Um, these extensions I colored myself, um, so you don't buy them red. But I ombre and did the tips in this really nice blood red. Um, I've been really liking wearing extensions lately, and these ones are fantastic. They are by VP Fashion. Um, I'll have the website listed below. But they look like this. Um, they barely shed. These ones are 20 inches and they're quite thick. Definitely not as thick as my other ones that I used um, in my uh, braid, braidception video. Definitely not as thick as that, but really nice for a full head. Um, great quality, so definitely check them out. I'll have them listed below. And then lastly, as always, I'm going to finish off with a perfume. And the perfume that I have been loving in the month of July is the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. Now I just have the small bottle because this stuff is so, so expensive. I think this sm small bottle is like almost $60, $60. Um, but it's so amazing. Uh, Jess from beautyzine.com obviously got me hooked on it. She, It's like her signature scent and she got me hooked on it. So um, I've used that much. And uh, yeah, it's a really beautiful scent. It's like a sweet flower of amazingness. Love it. So good.
yes, so those were my July favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. And don't forget to check back for my Get Ready With Me video for this look. I will obviously have it up in a few days. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.